How do you cool giant buildings in a sustainable way that's not using up your drinking water? We're going underground tonight to reveal the secret to keeping the air on at buildings like Chase Field in the Convention Center. Our Ashley DiMartino continues her reporting, showing us the system that is positively impacting Earth. Here in downtown Phoenix, a hidden hero in sustainable energy, one that keeps you cool year round. At the corner of Washington and 3rd Street, sits a secret door that leads you to a staircase that takes you down 30 feet to another door, which leads you to a vertical garden of pipes, ice tanks, water chillers, and more. It's a, a little bit of a surprise or secret. Built in 2006 as part of the expansion of the convention center, Cordia took advantage of the vertical real estate. There's lots of events in, in the convention center and uh, we quietly are able to keep everybody comfortable. Four miles of chilled water pipes stretch underground through downtown Phoenix, distributing heating and cooling to 44 buildings, such as the Phoenix Convention Center, Chase Field, and ASU's downtown campus. So the ice tank is basically a thermal storage facility. Here in the, the ice tanks, we have um, three channels of water where it just flows from one side to the other. Using potable water. So it goes from our plant through a heat exchanger at the customer, and then it comes back. So this water doesn't evaporate, there's no loss. Unless there's a leak, which is why they dye the water green. As the city grows, so do the chilled pipelines that run 30 feet below all of the hustle and bustle. It's all with a commitment to climate change. But it really is part of the overall um, plan for how we are going to decarbonize the country and district energy is part of that solution. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.